Hi, I'm Chef Andrew Rochon and this is Catch the Kitchen. We're here on Mississippi Lake trying to see if we can get something in the boat, more importantly something for dinner. Hi, I'm Chef Andrew Rochon this is Catch the Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing pan-seared brook trout that I caught up in northern Ontario and it's going to be served with uh, smoked tomato and olive oil emulsion as well as some dal, which is curried lentils. I find it goes very good with trout. First for our dish today, I'm going to smoke the tomatoes. That's going to be used for the smoked tomato and olive oil emulsion, as well as our veg side. So I have my egg smoker here at about 300. I've just added my applewood chips. Now it's time to smoke them. Season your tomatoes. We're going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Cracked black pepper. And some coarse salt. Smoke is going nice and good. We're gonna just place these right in the middle racks. And we're gonna let those go for about 15 minutes. All right, so our tomatoes are just about done. Yeah, they're good. So they're nice and soft. They're still a little firm on the inside. They're not completely mush, but the skin started to peel away. And they're gonna have that nice smoked flavor. Now we're gonna crush up some garlic. We're gonna finely chop it. We're going to chop up some fresh ginger and a whole white onion. And that's going to be used in our curried lentils. We're going to caramelize the onions very heavily and it's going to help add flavor to our curry. Next, pick some fresh cayenne peppers from your garden, if you got them. If not, store bought will do. Chop them up finely and that's going to help add heat to our curry. Soak your lentils for about 30 minutes before you use them in warm water. This is going to help shorten the cooking time. Heat up some oil in a pot and heavily caramelize your onions. Now add your garlic, your ginger and your chilies to the onions. Now add your turmeric, your cumin and your chili powder. Next add your soaked lentils and toast them for about 5 minutes with the onion mixture. We've added our beef broth and our water. We're just going to let our lentils simmer for about 20 minutes until they uh, become tender, but you don't want them cooked all the way through because then they'll turn to mush. Using your lentils, a good amount of black pepper, and a few pinches of salt. Here we have our fresh brook trout fillets. Now we're just going to score the skin side. Scoring is when you make a few small incisions diagonally along the skin, and what that's going to do is prevent the fish from curling up when you're searing it. Next we're going to marinate our trout fillets in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some fresh green onions and thyme from the garden, and some coarse black pepper and salt. For the fried basil garnish for this dish, you want to bring your oil up to medium high temperature and drop the basil leaves in one at a time. Be careful because they will spit. It only takes about 15 seconds to fry the basil leaves. When they're done, they'll be slightly transparent, but they'll also be very brittle, so be careful when handling them. Now it's time to cook our fish. We're going to sear our trout skin side down for about 3 to 4 minutes, and then we're going to flip the fillets and finish it in the oven at about 350 degrees for another 4 or 5 minutes. For our smoked tomato emulsion, we're going to take our smoked tomatoes here and we're going to take the skin off. Coarsely chop the tomatoes and put them in a small pot on medium heat. Add a good amount of coarse salt, pepper. Start to buzz your tomatoes with a hand blender and then slowly incorporate your olive oil into the mix. Once emulsified, finish with just a touch of cream. Now we're ready to plate. Start by putting down some curried lentils right in the center, followed by a few different colors of your smoked tomato wedges, and then finally your seared brook trout filet right on top. Next, spoon some of your smoked tomato and olive oil emulsion onto the fish and a little around the plate for color. For that extra little touch, finish by putting a few of your fried basil leaves on top of the fish. And there we have it, seared brook trout with curried lentils, a smoked tomato and olive oil emulsion sauce, garnished with a few crunchy green basil leaves. Enjoy!